Hello my dear friend I hope you are doing great welcome back to my channel if you have not subscribed it please subscribe it press the bell icon hit the like button also friends as you know we have already covered up to article 22 now i am going to start article 23 article 23 is about the right against exploitation means prohibition of the traffic in human and forced labor means prohibition of the traffic and forced labor in the human beings is like uh, comes under the article 23 if there is a violation of the person rights then you can proceed to the courts under article 32 that is the constitutional remedies but here we are talking in the article 23 traffic traffic means buy and selling of the person like goods traffic means the traffic in human beings human beings the are the personal who are staying in this india and this rights is provided to the whole like indian and the foreign citizen also and traffic in human beings that prohibition of the person or human beings like buying and selling of like item that should be prohibited and and the second thing is begar begar means uh, if a person doing work without any alumni or the person is not getting money for his work then it would consider as a begar and further i will elaborate the begar terms that if you are getting money that doesn't sufficient to describe the begar i will elaborate by the help of the article and that case was in the 1982 but now right now i am talking about the traffic traffic means if a person is selling or buying like goods or services then it would consider as a traffic traffic is like goods and service people are buying and selling and the if a person is selling his organs and by force the person is forced to sell his organs that is also comes under the traffic uh, you might have seen in the movies also that people are forcing to or their poverty condition is forcing them to sell their organs that comes under the traffic under the traffic definition and this is if uh, this happening along with you then you can directly go to the supreme court against uh, like you have a right under the article 23 that is fundamental right of yourself and if i will talk about the slavery what do you mean by slavery slavery you might have seen in the history papers or you might have seen in the previous movie that people were working as a slavery that if my forefather have taken enough amount of money and the like uh, interest rate is so high that he was not able to pay and that comes to me and now i am like uh, paying the money and i am not able to fulfill the or revert back the money that would be extra burden on me and that would consider and then they will take me as a slave of them and i would work without money that is called slavery slavery also comes under the article 23 and it is not explicitly mentioned in the article 23 anywhere because here the mention is traffic begar and other form of the forced labor are prohibited but this thing is like dubar versus union of india case was that in the 1960 near about the 1960 in that supreme court gave its verdict that yes slavery also comes under the traffic in human beings and that is prohibited in india and if i will talk about the prostitution prostitution also like prostitution is legalized in india but there are the some forms of the prostitution they are not they are not allowed in india and they are illegal in india if i will talk about the like first clause of that prostitution that pimps pimps are not allowed in india pimps means like if a, if, a, if a person is working as a manager of the three or four girls then he is providing or he is facility to the that girl and he is taking in a amount of money along with them that is not considerable or that is not allowed in india and the second provision in this prostitution is no brothels are allowed in india although you might have seen or you might have heard in the news that 
देर इज द पीपल आर रनिंग ब्रोथल्स इन दिल्ली एंड द वेस्ट बंगाल बट इट इज इलीगल एंड दे आर डूइंग इ मोरल एक्ट एंड द थर्ड क्लोज इन दैट प्रोस्टिट्यूशन इज द रेस्ट्रिक्शन ऑन सोलिसटेशन मीन्स पब्लिकली दैट ए लेडी कैन नॉट सेड्यूस एनी पर्सन इन द मार्केट और एनी पब्लिक प्लेस मीन्स सोलिसटेशन इज डजेंट अलाउ बाई द गोरमेंट ऑन द ओपन प्लेस इन द पब्लिक प्लेस यस इफ ए लेडी इज लाइक सेलिंग हिज बॉडी एंड ही इज अर्निंग इन अमाउंट ऑफ मनी दैट इज वैलिड इन इंडिया बट आई टोल्ड यू दैट पेम्स आर नॉट अलाउड ब्रोथल्स आर नॉट अलाउड एंड द पब्लिकली सोलिसटेशन इज नॉट अलाउड इन इंडिया एंड दैट कम्स अंडर दी आई पी सी एंड दैट वुड बी वायलेशन ऑफ द लॉ एंड रूल एंड रेगुलेशन इन द सोसाइटी एंड देन लेडी कैन बी कॉन्फिस्केटेड बाई दी अथॉरिटी एन एड एक्जीक्यूटिव देर इज ए स्पेशल एक्ट फॉर दैट द सीटा अर्लियर दैट सीता एक्ट वॉज एस आई टी ए सीटा मीन्स सेपरेशन ऑफ द इमोरल ट्रेड्स एंड एक्ट इमोरल ट्रैफिक ट्रैफिक मीन्स सेपरेशन ऑफ द इमोरल ट्रैक इमोरल ट्रैफिक एक्ट मीन्स इफ ए लेडी इज लाइक ए सोलिसटेटिंग एनी कस्टमर इन द पब्लिक एरिया दैन सी वुड कॉन्फिस्केटेड अंडर द सीता एक्ट पुलिस अथॉरिटी कैन बी कॉन्फिस्केटेड हर एंड दे कैन टेक हर टू द पुलिस स्टेशन एंड बिहाइंड द बार्स बट ड्यू टू सम मॉडिफिकेशन अर्लियर दैट वॉज द लाइक सेपरेशन ऑफ द इमोरल ट्रैफिक मीन्स द ऑल शुड ऑल थिंग्स शुड बी अवे फ्रॉम द सोसाइटी एंड देन देर शुड बी सेपरेशन ऑफ द इमोरल थिंग्स फ्रॉम द सोसाइटी बट ड्यू टू टाइम पिंग एंड दे हैव कम अप विद द न्यू लेजिस्लेशन एंड अमेंडमेंट द नाउ in the 1886 1986 the law came pita prevention means prevention of the immoral traffic act 1986 due to modification now it's into the existence and like totally prevention prevention of the immoral traffic uh, if like a person is forced to sell like goods and services that that should be totally prevented and that comes under the article 1986 and friends like uh, if you will find that only one statement or three line is there but i am elaborating each and everything because whenever you will represent yourself in front of the public or you are going for any interview for the uh, class one of job then you will encounter with such type of questions and if uh, you have to write in the main examination then you can utilize these statements and lines for your like good answers then only you would able to come into the merit list otherwise it would be folly to clear your preliminary examination by reading three or four lines then it would mean nothing if you are not able to cross the barrier of the merit then what is the meaning of to clear preliminary examination so please keep your mind here and like try to hear or listen concentratedly that then you would know that what i am telling here because if uh, you will only six line is there in the article 23 but i am taking pain or i am telling you the each and everything meticulously so that you can visualize and you can realize what i am telling and you can utilize this statements in your answers and the in your interview and that if uh, anybody will ask or there may be questions in the main examination also should we legalize the prostitution in india or should we ban the prostitution in india uh, i will i will tell you the some points in the favor and some points in the criticism also like a, a feminist some feminist means the person who is like a, in the favor of the ladies that is called the feminist this is a english word and you should keep this thing in your mind the feminist perspective is that that prostitution is the oldest profession of for earn livelihoods like in the history you might have seen so many paintings so many scriptures that earlier that point of time that prostitution was the prevalent in the society and the if a lady is earning money by getting or by selling his body then the state should not sell not interfere in the matter of that and that should be legalized that some of the prominent feminist person and perspective is that that it should be legalized and it like uh, having uh, pro- any type of 
like profession it, it's totally depends on the person psychology and he would take uh, state should not interfere in such type of things and the second uh, like a point in the favor is that yes it's uh, till the time our government or the state would not recognize prostitution as a legal profession then it would be com come under the informal sector informal sector means the person is not having any guarantee of the income and they would not have uh, along with that they shall not have along with that uh, any collateral if they would be in the requirement of the any loan from the bank and if that point of time they would be in no situa in situation that they would nothing have collateral and mortgage then they would not get uh, money or the loan from the bank itself or the formal sector itself then they have to go to the pimps and the, by the pimp they would provide money and they would exploit continuously then the, this like this type of immoral things would prevalent in the society up to eternity and that we should prevent such type of things from the society and the third one is that yeah you might know this is a billion dollar like uh, so many billion dollars profession is this and uh, if state would recognize such type of things definitely state can impose any type of tax over it and that can be utilized for the better condition of the women in the society and the social security schemes can be uh, in the promulgation after acquiring such type of handsome money out of that prostitution legalized prostitution and the fourth one is that if I, I will take example of the Thailand, in the Thailand, they, like uh, they have legalized the prostitution and people are like uh, free to do such type of things. And but there are the certain norms they have to follow. Like if a customer is going to the prostitution or the brothels, then they have they have like some certain list means uh, within the six month the uh, prostitute uh, they have to do undergo the medical process and they have to get certificate and they should possess that type of certificate then only they would allow to do such type of activity and if a person is going for that activity then he should take bath there are the certain norms he should follow then only he would allow to do anything over there and that same like condition for the ladies also and that totally like legalized in the legalized form and they can utilize and they can have such type of business and they can have such type of ambit over there this is the provision in the Thailand. Yes, India can do such type of things and uh, that STD, that sexual transmission disease would not prevalent in the society. If uh, we are following the same pattern that we are providing the medical certificate to the prostitute and uh, if a person is going to there and then he is taking precautions and like he is well aware the what type of disease he can acquire by doing such things then definitely we will minimize all the bad things from the society and we can legalize all the prostitution task even like uh, if we will legalize then definitely the uh, that apathy apathy means a person uh, the if I, if I will talk about the policeman or executive some executive authority or the policeman they are like torturing that lady because they don't have knowledge about the rule and regulation over there if a lady is doing such type of things then it would be legalized and he, like she would aware about the his right her rights and she would retaliate it retaliate it against the like prosecution of the executive or the police authority like a, if i will take example if a lady is doing the prostitution then like uh, she might have been exploited by the pimps also and at the end of the day she might be exploited by the police authority and they would they would demand hafta from that lady and that is a gruesome situation and that is totally exploitation of that lady if the we will legalize that thing that would not happen in the society and we should avoid or avoid such type of situation in the society by doing such things these are the like points in the favor of the prostitution legalization and you can utilize these statements for your examination also and you can if uh, any debate is going on then you can definitely talk with such type of points and you will get leverage over others and uh, like uh, even 
if i will talk about the pimps they are also exploiting the so many prostitution so many cases are happening in the they are not coming into lime coming into the limelight because they don't have any like portal or they don't have any facilitated to file a, file fir against them and they have to survive with the minimal amount of lady and the grim situation of that lady we cannot understand that's why she has been in the prosecution since so much time and the pimps are ex- exploiting them continuously and even client also abusing her several times without use of contraceptive pills and all the contraceptive items and if it, that would be legalized then we can avoid such type of situation and if like a we will legalize all the things like uh, prostitution we would legalize then all things would be in the fair manner and then uh, transparency transparency can be in the society and we could manage all the things now let's jump to the negative point or the point in the opposition of the legalization of the prostitution the like uh, so many people are saying that and the like knowledgeable person are saying that if we would legalize the prostitution our that a criteria means we are living in the society and family is the important most important organ of the society then this like a faithful institution or the very pivotal part of the society would be in the quick mire means that would be in the detrimental state and it could be detrimental for the family then is family would destroy by legalized such type of prostitution but uh, if i you will ask from me yes nowadays uh, like uh, all all the institution brothels are the running and still that we are having family institution in the society and people are living happily but all the things are the illegal in the country still the, that are prevalent in the society and we should not go for this point but you can utilize in the negative form also and the second point is that no study if a, like a, you will talk about the girl if a girl is not having skills or she is not having knowledge about the education and all things then definitely she will she would divert towards such type of like legalized work and that would be detrimental for the demographic dividend also because we are having where most of us our young generation and that would divert towards the this quick mire and uh, definitely the lady would divert towards such type of legalized form of the work and they would not enhance their skills and their education and definitely it would be harmful for the country in the future that would be to- totally dependent uh, like population and demographic dividend would be there and we can not we should in the future we would not take leverage of our demographic dividend and the third point is that it, it by like adopting such type of practice the lady would be in the downside and that would be very not not a nice or healthy practice now let's jump to the begar i think i have totally covered the uh, traffic parts and now i am going to jump over the begar what is begar begar means forced labor plus no wages means if a person is forcing you to do any work kind of work and plus he or she is not providing no wages to you then it is called begar but uh, i want to reiterate one famous case that was in the 1982 when like asian games happened or conducted in the india that point of time so many laborers like were brought from the different part of the india and they were doing work but that point of time one famous ngo that people union for democratic rights versus of unia union of india case was filed in the supreme court that they told uh, that ngo told to the supreme court yes this the people are working in the pathetic condition and no hygienic environment were provided to them and even like people are expecting more amount of money or more amount of work from there and they are not giving like at par their remuneration and the money is to the to them alumni to them then it comes under the like forced labor begars means yes they are providing money definitely they are providing money but they are not providing hygienic environment 
and they are not providing enough amount of money according to their work then it comes under the for beggar means forced labor even like a, there was a, an earlier the agreement uh, act was 1976 bonded labor abolishment act what was also there at point of time and uh, like uh, i have already told but uh, some exception also this article 23 what are the exception the, the that comes under the article close to that nothing in this article shall prevent the state from the imposing compulsory service for the public purpose if uh, like uh, i will talk about the rigorous imprisonment before covering this public purpose point i want to tell you one other point also that if a person is serving any rigorous punishment by the supreme court provided awarded by the uh, supreme court any high court or any court of the country that it would not consider as a like beggar and forced labor because according to the constitution they have provided them the rigorous punishment then they have to survive and they have to serve all the like recommendation or all the all the punishment awarded by the court then it would not provide any money for that maybe it can be or sometimes government or according to the punishment the government provide the money also for that work and that would not consider the forced labor and the second one is that military purpose if a, like a, if government is saying that any threat to the our country security then definitely like our government would compulsory give compulsory like israel israel is having compulsory military service is there and we can even india can impose this type of condition to the citizen of india and the next one is that social service like per public purpose social service means uh, tomorrow if there would be tsunami and or any national calamity committees then definitely that people around that area they would be provide service and no money would provide in that situation and that it is not a violation of the article 23 and uh, the here that mention is that that in imposing such service the state shall not make any discrimination on ground of any religion race caste or class of any them like in the future if they will our state government or the our central government is imposing any responsibility on the citizen of india due to public purpose and the like national committees then it there should be no discrimination on the religion and caste basis yes religion race caste class cannot be like a way of the discrimination but the domicile can be way of the ground of the discrimination means like if uh, odisha people are having or suffering from the any cyclone and natural calamities then they would serve the area and it is not like feasible to like bring people from the north east or any part of the country uh, means discrimination can be on the basis of the domicile and other other requirement but discrimination should not based the only only of the religion race caste and class of them that is all about the article 23 and tomorrow i will come up with the with the article 24 please subscribe my channel and share my video among your friends so that they can get benefit thanks for watching bye